Thank you, Rob, and good morning to all of you. It's really nice to be here with you. And as you can see on the slide, my topic is quizzes. Well, what do you think the double S stands for? Uh, usually in the jargon or whenever you have a double S, it denotes sleep, lack of energy, but it's just the opposite when it is added with quizzes. It doubles the energy and sparks excitement. And what is this? This is nothing but a web-based gamified tool to conduct assessments in class. And most of all, it's completely free. It's for the educators out there. When you want your class to wake up and participate, quizzes is, 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 is your solution. And um, what makes quizzes different? Well, I've given you a difference already. It's the spelling that's different with quizzes. Second of all, um, I'll add a statement to um, um, make you remember the spelling of quizzes. ZZ is not a snooze, but it's a wake up call to join the game. Yes, that's what makes quizzes different. It's an assessment, but it's a game where the class plays together. It's a teamwork, but it's individual effort. Isn't that fun? Yes. And for the teacher, what, what does, how is quizzes different? Because they have the magic word data. Absolutely. So the feedback that uh, they get based on their students' performance is, um, is, is what makes quizzes actually different. Now, um, let's see. Um, what, did I say work as a team and have individual effort? Yes, you heard it right. And I said it so. The reason is because educators will all agree with me that team-based learning is definitely a good strategy. It improves collaboration. It promotes learning. But we know where the difficulty is, assessing them in a group work. Yes, this usually one-man show where the smart one in the group is performing all the work and obviously the grades go to them. The team learns because of his effort but then there's no way to actually assess them individually. Um, so how does quizzes actually help us? Well, that's, that's different in quizzes. So what happens is um, once quizzes is launched, there are these random teams that quizzes generates and the team names are so much fun. Team names such as lazy squirrels, nerdy chickens, and the name itself sparks an excitement within the class. And so the students take their own device, which is their favorite, the mobile device, and they start joining the game. Now, as they join the game, they expect to join a particular team. And that's not what happens because quizzes randomly allocates them to these different teams that are posted on the quizzes. I know you have a question in your mind already. Um, does the teacher decide on the number of teams? Yes, the teacher has so much of flexibility within this um, interface where you get to choose the number of teams. By default, it's uh, four teams. And I think it's fair enough to have four different teams and the students get placed into the teams. Uh, do the students have to change their places within the classroom physically? No, they sit where they are, they use their own device, but they know that they belong to different teams. So, you know, you can see students waving from one end of the class and say, hey, I'm in this team or looking around to say, oh, so you're in my team. That's some kind of, you know, a wake up call for our, uh, for the students in our class. And um, there is also another facility where um, the students can actually pace at their own speed, which means, um, the question does not come up with a time. You take your own time to answer the question and then you proceed to the next question. So this kind of facilitates the whole class to participate because I may not be as fast as my neighbor is. But the, uh, the, the good thing is when I make my contribution at my own space, not only am I benefiting with the grade, but my team is also benefiting with the grade. So uh, it, I have seen students encourage each other saying, don't be quick with your answers. 
take your time, but answer correctly because that's where the team benefits. So it's kind of being careful and at the same time, team spirit, keeping the team together. And we have other facilities where this, the, the teacher can allow the student to retake. And for people with challenges, yes, the read aloud um, facility, which is inbuilt in, inbuilt in the interface is really helpful. And as I mentioned before, the magic word for educators is better data and feedback. Um, the good thing about the data that is posted is it shows the accuracy level of the whole class. It shows the accuracy level per question. And at the end of the session, it even gives the percentage each student has scored. Although internally, within the interface, just to spark the excitement, um, quizzes functions by giving points. So you can see 1,000 points, 2,000 points, 2,500 points for each student. But at the end of the day, quizzes also makes it easier by giving it as a percentage for the teachers to download. And as you can see, post it to the Google Classroom, which is a feature which most educators are using these days. Google Classroom is an LMS. So you can actually download the grades and export it directly into your Google Classroom. Now, how does this quizzes work? Okay, it comes with a free library um, where there are millions of quizzes already available by the millions of educators that are using it all over the world. Um, so you can just search for your subject, like I teach math. So say, for example, I'm teaching integers in math. So I just go to the search button and say, can I um, uh, integers? Just one word, integers. And I'm going to see hundreds or millions of quizzes on integers. So on a lazy day, I could just import a ready-made quiz made by my uh, co-educator across the world. You can always post a thank you message to that educator and use the quiz for my class. Or I am going to do something different today, which is I have these million freely made quizzes why don't I teleport? What does that, that mean? I open up a quiz, I find an interesting question, and there is a button that says teleport. I just click on the teleport and it comes into a brand new quiz in my account. And this way I can mix and match questions from the millions of quizzes that are available in, uh, in, in the interface. Apart from this, I can make my own quizzes too. And these are the different options that I have when I'm going to make my own quizzes, which means I can post an image and ask questions on it. What kind of questions? Multiple choice questions or multi-select questions or even a poll style question. I can have math questions and you can see there's a wonderful tool editor available for math. Or I have a spreadsheet uploaded with questions already. I can just import it into quizzes. So. It's a very uh, easy interface for the educators to create quizzes and you should be on your go. After you're done creating your quizzes, comes the exciting part of playing live. You can play a live game in the class, even post the game as a homework for students to go back and work on it in the evening or have them as a solo practice, which means they can practice the same assessment as many number of times as they want. And in math, you know, practice makes them perfect. So this has been a wonderful tool for me for using in, in my math classes. And I use all the features, a live game when I see my class is sleepy, a homework just to keep up the excitement and a solo game when I know my students need practice. Create your own account and start with your quizzes. Start quizzing with your quizzes. And let me tell you, it, it, it integrates very well into um, apps like Remind or any other LMS. At Gust, we use Moodle and it integrates into Moodle because you can share the quizzes as a link and I could post it in my LMS. Or if you're using a Google Classroom, it integrates very well with the Google Classroom. And you can 
it, it downloads as an Excel file. The grades are download uh, can be downloaded as an Excel file and you can import them either into your LMS or into your Google Classroom. So to all the educators out there, have fun quizzing and um, keep your class engaged. Thank you.